G'day, g'day, fellas, Laserbeam here, and today I have a proposition for you. What if we take Big Vince, the thousand pound defensive tackle, the man who's pretty much the size of a Prius, and put him at cornerback, the position that's usually dominated by skinny fellas like this? Yeah, I thought it was a fantastic idea as well. So let's give it a go. Rightio then, since this is the first episode, I feel like I should explain exactly how things are gonna work. I'm gonna start a franchise season, and I'm gonna play the first game with Will Fork at cornerback. And then we'll simulate the rest of the season and see how his stats stack up to the rest of the NFL. Right, here we go. First up, the scouting report. Big Vince Will Fork, cornerback. And as much as it pains me, he's playing for the Texans. Quick look at his stats, we'll see what stands out to us. Hard hitting tendency, 46 overall, 62 speed, 60 agility. That's terrifying. 97 play recognition, that should help, but 28 man coverage and 24 zone coverage. That's going to make things painful. Although he does have a couple of career interceptions, which is how he got the name Will Fork Continent. And honestly, with how Brandon Brown has played this season, he's also probably not the worst cornerback in the NFL. So fellas, let's see just how good the Will Fork Continent is. Alright, here we go. Big Vince's first game at cornerback. I feel like my dream is to get an interception in this game. But, like, I suck at defense normally with normal players, so I don't feel like it's realistic. All right, the first snap. Let's see how the Will Fork Continent performs. I'm up against Jeremy Macklin, and I feel like I'm about to get burned. Unless, of course, they run it, but that's anticlimactic. Oh, no play action, and I got fucked. Wow. Good thing he didn't hit Macklin. That would have been a touchdown. Yeah, I'm not really going to concern myself too much with the score of the game since I don't have much control over it. I'll just sh pretty much show the cool shit Will Fork does, if anything. It'll mostly just be giving up touch- TACKLE! <laughs> there you go, there's a touchdown. <laughs> Way to go, defense! W Will Fork has screwed up already. I mean, I pretty much screwed up, but still, I'll blame Will Fork. I didn't anticipate giving up rushing touchdowns. I was kind of overly focused on the wide receiver. I'm up against Kelsey, third and 16, they're gonna throw. We're depending on Will Fork continent, and I fucked up. And I fucked up. Good thing Alex Smith can't throw past five yards. The fuck you say, British fag boy. Apparently, it doesn't matter if Vince Wilfork is your number one cornerback, because Alex Smith is terrified to throw. Come on, test me. And he's running. Ha. <laughs> Just throw the football, buddy. The guy's going to be wide open. I'm Vince Wilfork, for shit's sake. Third and 24. They're depending on you, big Vince. They're testing you, and you've been burnt. You've been burnt big time. And it's a touchdown. <laughs> Tags what you fucking get, gay boy. Well, maybe I shouldn't have been shitting on Alex Smith, because Macklin just ran right past Will Four Continent. Had about 20 feet on him. My god. Easiest touchdown of their lives. I bet they run it right now, because they're boring like that. Wow, look how exciting that is. And we just blew that up. Sit down. I don't care you're leading by 14. Sit down. Sit down. Man coverage against Macklin. This always goes well. I can't wait to get burnt like a s'more. Oh, he's running. Blow him up, Will Fork. Well, you just got juked out of your shoes. Watch Big Vince get some revenge for constantly being burnt. They're tugging at each other, and then boom, just drops him. It would not be good to be Jeremy Macklin right now. Well, it's happening. We're being taken to town by Kansas City, and they're in the red zone again. I just hope it's me. I hope it's not me who gives up the touchdown. At least give me that. Come on. Just don't let it be me. Oh, yes. Blow him up. Run the right It was totally me. I just took too long to correct. And Will Fork just didn't have the agility to make up for it. I mean, I don't really care about the score. It's what I expected. I just wanted better things for Will Fork. I wanted him to play well. I wanted an interception. But it's just not going to happen. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And the experiment's over, 42 to 7. I mean, I think all things considered, Will Fork did pretty good at cornerback. I was expecting like 200 to nothing. Just constant touchdowns. So since it was only 42 to 7, I think he did pretty well. So before we simulate the season, let's take a look at the stats for the game. Uh, two tackles, no tackles for a loss, no interceptions, nothing. No pass defenses, no forced fumbles, literally no stats. Great game, Will Fork. I'm proud of you, bud. Well, he obviously didn't perform too well in that game, but now it's time to see how he does over an entire season. And maybe with the computer playing him, 
he will perform much better. Because I was certainly not helping him. Alright, Sim to the playoffs first? Yeah, we'll do that. And we're done! Thank fucking God. Alright, the first thing we notice is the Texans definitely did not make the playoffs, so definitely no Super Bowl MVP for Will Falk, the cornerback. They went 5-11. and 11. They weren't worse than the Jaguars and the Titans. How is that possible? Also, weirdly enough, Tony Romo is the 2015 MVP. This is a weird fucking year. Alright, fellas, Will Falk stats for the entire season. 111 tackles, no tackles for a loss, no sacks, no interceptions. Uh, six pass deflections, 60 catches allowed. I don't know if that's good or bad. No forced fumbles, nothing else. And 16 games played. Way to go, buddy. Pretty much your best accomplishment is staying healthy for an entire season. To be fair to Big Vince, though, he did have the same amount of interceptions as Brent Grimes, and Brent Grimes is one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. So I guess by transitive property, if that's a real word, Big Vince Wilfork is one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, it's a fact, we proved it. Mission complete. Something else really quickly that kind of proves my previous point, Vince Wilfork, the number four cornerback of all time according to the Legacy Leaderboard. So Madden agrees with me, why don't you? All right, hop on this hype train, boys. Choo, choo, choo. Well guys, I don't know about you, but I feel like that was a fun experiment. Obviously the first time I'm doing it, so there's lots to learn. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed Big Vince at cornerback. And I'll see all you fellas later. Be sure to hit the fucking like button. Support me, support the series, support Big Vince. And I'll see all you fellas later. Okay. Cheers, fellas. Boo! This is gonna be so much fucking fun. Oh, we got a few stragglers, do we? All right, there we go. Deal with them. And send them off into space. That's one small step for man.